Hey. Alright, I just cut this tree down, which was not hard because I used the bucket truck and I'm going to flop this. But I decided to put a rope on it to pull this top piece over. Look what we found. European white birch. Beautiful tree. A lot of people plant them for the white bark. But when it dies, and this tree is indeed dead, it's been dead for a year, you really want to deal with them quickly. You want to get them out of the ground before decay sets in. And because it's been raining recently, we have got a bloom of armillaria mushrooms on the base of this. If you look at this tree, it's got to lean towards the house. So, could we climb it and get away with bringing it down? Possibly. Am I going to do it? No, I'm going to use a bucket truck. Fortunately, I can put the bucket on the driveway here and I can take it down. But this is a tree that should have been removed a long time ago before it reached this point. Armillaria malaya. They call this the honey mushroom. This is the one that was full of the armillaria mushrooms. This is the one that I said would be really dangerous to climb. I can hear the roots going. I'll bet you the two of us can pull that down. The what? I'll bet, I'll bet you the two of us can, we can just pull it down. You want, you want to try? Sure. All right. Just do it yourself, man. You're strong. Almost. No, I can't do it. All right, let's see if two of us can do it. All right, it took the two of us to get to this point. Go ahead, pull it down. Go ahead. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> we got close to the rocks we came. Holy mackerel, look at how rotten that is. Wow. Aren't you glad we didn't climb it? Probably would have been okay. You think? Yeah. Here's a mushroom we should all know. This is Amanita phalloides, the death cap. And first sign is that kind of weird yellowy gr green tinge color there. And then you've got a nice veil here that goes underneath. It comes out of this bulb right here. All Amanita is coming out of bulbs, right? All Amanita is coming out of a, the vulva, the sac. And uh, super common right now here in Saratoga. California. There, yep, tons of them this year. So don't let your dogs eat these. It'll kill them. Deadly poison. This is about as poison as they get, isn't it? Yeah, this is super deadly. I think it takes a couple days to kill you. And it uh, does it rot your liver away, or no? Apparently, it um, has little micro molecules that go through your system like little pieces of glass, yeah. and your your system can't get rid of them, so it just processes them through and through and through until your blood cells and just turn to mush. Oh, gee. So yeah. It, Sounds uh, like a horrible death. It's supposedly very, very painful. Oh my God! Is there a cure for it? Um, apparently, there is. Uh, there is one doctor who. Um, God, what plant was it? I don't know. There's a, there's a plant that he's been able to make a little concoction that that has a relatively high success rate if you catch it quick enough. But best thing is just to recognize it. it and avoid it. Let's see it a little closer again. Yeah. There's... Okay, so it's got gills on the other. And it looks, it looks an awful lot like a mushroom you see in the grocery store, doesn't it? Mm, not really. Well, no, there's no mushrooms in the grocery store you'd see like this. I can see why a lot of people would, you know, mistake it for an edible mushroom. It, well, it's, it's a light white color. They're I mean, beautiful that, mushrooms. That yellow, but... that yellow cast, that's a, a dead giveaway, isn't it? 
Uh, yeah, but there's also a uh, completely white Amanita that's also deadly. Okay. That's the uh, destroying angel. Oh, jeez. But, oh, yeah, thanks. bad news. Good job. Thanks. Hey, if you like my videos, do me a favor and subscribe. Also, hit the like button. Hey, thanks for watching. <laughs>